Welcome to Tech Talk, I'm Roger Bell. Today's topic, remote working. Should your company let its employees work from home? Let's debate. Joining me is the CEO and founder of 37 Signals, Jason Freed. He also has a book called Remote, Office Not Required. Also joining me is the CEO of Vuza and a staunch opponent of remote working, Matthew Stillman. Matthew, I'll start with you. Don't you trust your employees to work from home? Look, let's be clear about something. I hire morons who can't be trusted, right? They need constant adult supervision. You can't just have them working from anywhere. And Jason, what's your take? Well, where are the people who do your payroll and your accounting and your legal stuff? Do they work in your office or do they work remotely? No, we hire people outside our office to do all that. So really you do have remote workers. You have people doing really important work for you, but they're not in your office. Yeah, but those aren't my employees. Those are people I can trust. Jason, so how should a company get started with remote working? I think the best way to do it is just like anything, take it easy, start small, see where it goes, have a few employees work from home one or two days a week or maybe even just once every two weeks and see what happens. Well, that just seems really unfair. At Vuzo, we all suffer equally, okay? We're miserable at the same time in the same place and that's the way it should be. Now, one of the advantages cited by remote workers is they get to spend more time with their family. Matthew, wouldn't you like to spend more time with your family? God, no hate my family. I mean, the whole reason I started a company was so I had somewhere to go every day to get out of the house. The last time I played Twister with my five-year-old, I got burn marks up and down my back. I, I, I understand now. Now, let me ask the both of you, how do you evaluate your employees? Well, I ask a lot of tough questions. You know, I look at an employee and I ask, was that person here at 9 a.m. or 9.05 a.m.? Do they take a lot of breaks? When I walk past, do they have Facebook up on their screen? You know, that's the sort of precise monitoring that's not possible with a remote worker. I mean, that's what makes me such an effective CEO. It's why people compare me to Churchill. You know, I don't like to judge people's location. I just judge their work. Everyone's on the same playing field that way, and we can look at everyone's work over the Internet. It's super easy to do, and uh, for us, it works out really, really well. Matthew, couldn't you just look at your employees' work? Look, I don't understand what anyone here does. I don't know how to code. I don't know how to design. What, am I going to look at some code and be like, oh, this gobbledygook looks better than this goobly goo? I, you know? That's why I do the one kind of monitoring that I know how to do. I make sure employees are in a seat eight hours a day right where I can see them. I think companies like that are going to have a hard time retaining talent over the long term. Matthew, aren't you worried about pushing some of the most talented workers at Vuza towards the door? Look, one thing I can say for sure, no one here at Vuza has any talent, all right? But at least when they're here, I know they're not goofing off, all right? People are, getting, people are getting things done, you know? I know people aren't just surfing. It's stuck on your hair. Thank you very much. People aren't just surfing the web all day. They're not just commenting on blogs, all right? They're writing code. They're designing whatever designers are designing here. They're getting things done. They're marketing. They're getting the word out there. They're making a dent in the universe. That's why Vuza has assumed such a leadership position. You know, 37 signals. Steven knows what. Steve, I'm trying to do an interview. Okay. I'm just saying it's been key to our strength as a company. Guys, guys, I'm going to have to cut you off right there. We're going to have to end it right there. But thank you so much to my guests, Jason and Matt. Uh, don't forget to check out Jason's book, Remote, Office Not Required. And Matt, uh, good luck with that. For Tech Talk, I'm Roger Bell.